Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Big time video for you guys today. That is addressing the phenomenon that is possibly coming to FIFA Ultimate Team. That is the League Un Player of the Month for the month of January. With our three nominees, uh, one person is standing out and one person is believed to be, to be winning this award. It's gotta be Neymar winning Player of the Month for League Un this month. I want to take a look at the vote with you guys today. I want to take a look at this SBC, how much it could cost, when it is going to be coming, and if you can invest for it, which right now the answer is a big time yes, you can invest for this SBC. Again, this is like the second biggest player of the month that we have had, I think in foot history, to be honest. This is like with the Messi player of the month earlier this year, and then now a possibility for a Neymar. When they opened up the League Un and La Liga to Player of the Month this year in foot, we knew this was going to come and this was going to happen. Um, and it was crazy the first time around with Messi. I'm going to be comparing this SBC a lot to the Messi SBC because I feel like they're going to have some similarities from pricing in terms of how the market will react and what we learned the first time to what we can learn this time as well. So I want to talk about Neymar Player of the Month today. And first, I want to take a look at the vote. The vote literally about six hours ago just ended. So in France, it was like Saturday night, midnight into Sunday uh, time in France when the vote ended. So the vote is now over. Hopefully you voted Neymar. Uh, but I think Neymar has to win this one outright. Neymar had a good month. Moussa Nebel had a good month. And this Abdel Hamid had a good month as well. So, I mean, we can pretty much assume that Neymar is going to win this. If Neymar does not win this, um, I'll talk about that at the very end of the video. If Neymar does not win this, what will happen? Basically, there'll just be a bunch of panic selling and then stuff will rebound because the SBC coming out didn't actually come out. But these are the nominees and the contestants and the voting is close. So that means that it should be coming soon. And where are we going to actually find out who wins this? I actually had to use Google Translate to figure out what this says right here. But it basically says go to the BN Sports page. Uh, to find out the the results. So be in sports on Twitter, I think, is going to be the one who uh, releases the award for the player of the month in the league on Uber Eats. Don't forget that this league on Uber Eats. So Neymar, what is this SBC going to look like? What is it going to do to this card? We have two options of people going back and forth. I've been talking to a few people about this. What is the card rating going to be. I personally think that they're going to rate Neymar as a 94 because a lot of times for a player of the month, they take the highest overall performance upgrade card, right? So like when they did Aguero player of the month, let's look at Aguero really quick. When they did Aguero's player of the month card, they didn't put his, I guess technically this is a bad example because they, uh, he had the 91 player, but he also had the 91 scream. So a scream card is not like a player performance upgrade. So that's where I'm talking about this headliner. Since Technically, this headliner is was not given to him for one specific per performance upgrade. I don't think that the Neymar Player of the Month is going to be a 96. I think the Neymar Player of the Month is going to be a 94. We can actually double check this with Messi. Um, Messi's Player of the Month item was a 96, exactly. So we thought it was going to be higher rated than this Team of the Group Stage card, which it actually was not. So basically, they go one rating above the inform as the latest performance upgrade, which a team of the group stage is kind of like a performance upgrade. So uh, that even makes me think more that it's gonna be a 94 rated player of the month Neymar. So I would think to see a 94 rated Neymar as the player of the month. So that still means that this 95 would be a bit higher. This card has dropped in price a little bit in the past couple days because people are, I think, anticipating this. Uh, and this price is also dipped just with the introduction of prime icon moments into the game. But 4499, 4475, this card has gone down from where he was at 4.8 mil around the time when he did, did get upgraded to a 95. So Neymar Player of the Month, 94 rated. I would expect to see the exact same statistics that we saw on this headliner before it got upgraded. So that's what I think you can expect for the card to be. What about the SBC price? Now, this is the Player of the Month Messi price. And I can show you that this price fluctuated right around one point. Uh, can you see it? 1.8 mil. Actually, it's hard to see. It's hidden down here. But this SBC price fluctuated from 2.1 mil first day. And then we kind of got out of the area where the SBC fodder was high. And before this SBC went away, this Messi card was like 1.7 to 1.8 million coins to do the SBC in total. So I would expect a pretty similar like price requirement and pretty similar 
like ratings and uh, requirements for a Neymar SBC. Because if you look at Neymar's special cards, we have a 4 million coin play of the month. And we have a 2.2 million coin inform. And we have a 1.5 million coin team of the year nominee. And his gold card's 800k. So this is, again, similar to that Messi range. Except Messi's inform was around like 2.3, 2.4 mil. So that's... You know, not the inform, the team, the group stage was like 2.324. And uh, that's kind of similar to this Neymar inform. So this Neymar inform, I think, is going to be the card that will fluctuate in the, the most as panic. He's down. It looks like to be 75, 80K. Let me check the graph. So he was like 224 over the weekend. He's He's been down about 100K from his peak. He's 214. Earlier today, he was 224 earlier this weekend. So I think this card has some room to drop yet. There hasn't been a ton of panic on the Neymar cards yet. 100k fluctuation for this isn't really that much. It's kind of usual, right? It's usual fluctuation on a weekend league sell-off. So I would expect this card to get closer down to the 2 million coin range if possible. Um, if that, if the news for the play of the month Neymar really starts to circulate, I do think you could see this drop a little bit more. And especially with all the prime icon moments that are out, people are going and trying those cards instead of using cards like this. So this card around 2 million coins flat, I think would be a very possible dropping point to that one. I think the headliner will drop a couple hundred K as well because it will not get upgraded with the player of the month. It would stay the same 95 rated until he gets another inform. That would only increase the headliner's rating. So don't be fooled there. I don't think this card's getting upgraded. But that's kind of how I feel about this card price. I don't think the gold will be affected really. He's 800,000 coins. The only way I see the gold being affected is if this Neymar player of the month is a is a left wing, which I think it's going to be a center attacking mid because in the month of January, he played solely attacking mid for PSG. So according to my sources, he should be a center attacking mid card. So I don't think that'll affect the left mid or left wing Neymar card too much. But again, I think this is somewhere similar to what the SBC should be priced at, right? We had three 89 rated squads for Messi. I would expect another three for Neymar, maybe even four if they wanted to take this cost up to two mil. Maybe they could do like three 89 rated squads um, and then two 88 rated. What's this one right here? What is this La Liga SBC? This one's an 88 rated as well. So it looks like we had three 89s, two 88s. And then I think, do we have an 86 and an 87? Yeah, we have an 87 here and we have an 86. Again, this is the messy player of the month that I'm comparing to. Yeah, so 86, 87, 88, 88, and then three 89s was what you needed for Messi. I think it's very possible that they do a similar thing, except maybe add one more squad in. So maybe do like 286s or 287s. Um, because, you know, right now, the high rated fodder is really, really cheap. And that's what you're going to need a lot of for this SBC. You're going to need 86s. You're going to need 87s, 88s, 89s, 90s, even 91s. I know Oblock was a popular investment last time for the Messi player of the month. Just because he's 91 rated, you buy him for 50K. Look what happened for that messy SBC, man. I think this is actually for the, the base icon. Excuse me, the base icon. But then he did rebound. He was up for like 70,000 coins. That was when the messy SBC came out, right around here. The messy SBC around here went up to 70K. So uh, this card could possibly go up to 60,000 coins again, I do believe. Uh, but again, you're banking on a lot of 89 rated squads for that. I see Modric and Ter Stegen as maybe some better investments, although they're inflated a little bit already. Uh, I think from you could actually get them at their lowest under 40k and I think they're still a little bit high actually you know what low 40s for Tristegan I don't mind that one doesn't seem too bad to me um, but there's so many people focusing on those cards I think it's better to focus on the 87s 88s and 89s because you know think about if you need an 89 rated SBC you might turn in one two one or two of the 90s and then you're going to need a lot of 88s you need a couple 87s right so you're going to use more of these cards in those SBCs so I'm a huge fan of buying at least club stock. And if you have not club stock these cards yet, go through and club stock all these. And if an SBC like a Neymar or even a mid icon is, could come out at some point this week, that would be big for this market and cause all this to rise. So get in beforehand. There's a huge opportunity here to buy some of these 89s, 88s, 87s, even 86s, stock them in the club. If you want to do a little bit more focused investing, like remember for last uh, this messy SBC, a lot of people bought Busquets, right? A lot of the Barcelona players, PSG players. Navas at 21K is fine by me. Cavani's a little bit more inflated uh, for an 88 rated card because I think people are expecting that the a PSG player requirement is there. 
but this card, if you can get him right, you know, 25, 26,000 coins on bid, even 27 isn't bad. But look, he, he does go to 26K when there's not a lot of people thinking about him or investing in this card yet. So 26,000 coins, maybe during a lightning round or during some pack supply, during squad battle rewards tonight might, be not a, might not be a bad shot either. So watch out for this Cavani card. 26,000 coins is not bad for me. And then uh, our other friend, Tiago Silva, who would be huge for chemistry links. If you can get this guy, like 21K for this card is really, really low. So this guy, anywhere close to 20,000 coins is a fantastic investment in my opinion um, for some of those league gun dudes. Uh, am I missing anybody else? Navas, Cavani, and maybe Marquinhos would be a decent one as well. But those are kind of the main high rateds from PSG. Now, you're also going to uh, definitely need some informs for this SBC as well. If you're investing in it, you're going to need some informs. They're going to require that in the squads. For the informs, I'm a fan of like the 86 rated players because if you look at 85s, they're all 20K. 86s are 22K. So, Lataro and Kostic, I'm a decent fan of. Um, even Delict as a center back, 26K, not bad. Playa as a French inform, it's not a bad shout. Um, and then DeVry, 30K. Lukaku, 87, 30K. So maybe you pick up on some of these lower rated informs. Uh, and again, if you're looking to invest in some of these informs for SPCs, look at ones that if they're low, right? So like Bergwin, 86 rated is one of the, he's one of the cheapest by two to three K, but this guy has been out in packs for a while, right? He's from team of the week 11. He's been down to 18K at his low point and he's been slowly rising, but he was 32,000 coins and now he's down to 27, 24K. These are the types of cards that you want to invest in if you're investing in informs because the out of packs ones that have been out for longer have less supply on the game because more people have turned them into SBCs throughout the course of that time that they've been in the game. Make sense? So when you're looking through some of these informs, play is not a bad one, to be honest. 86 rated play. How long ago did this come out? Team of the week, uh, 20. So this actually wasn't super duper long ago, but he's French. So if you can get him for like 23, 24,000 coins, I'm a fan of that one. But again, if you're looking to invest in some some informs, stick 84 rated and above. I would say 86, 87, 88, and 89 would be your best bet there. And then uh, make sure you stick to ones that are, you know, a little bit older in the game. So they have less actual um, supply in foot. So again, you can definitely go out and pick up some of these players right now. Uh, again, like Cavani, I said, is probably Cavani and Tiago Silva would be my front runners. If you're going to make any, S, any, uh, investment for this SBC, those two would kind of be my favorite. And you can tell people are starting to invest in these already. He's up to 20, 28,000 coins. Um, you, you'll see that that's for sure. Uh, but I also just want to talk about this Neymar SBC and what it is going to do to affect the market, right? So if this SBC is around 2 million coins, obviously you're going to see some of the other Neymar cards dip down in price because some people are going to trade in. They're going to say, yo, okay, I've got this headliner Neymar. You know what? I'm fine with taking the 94 rated card and having an untradeable Neymar in my team for the rest of the year, getting some packs back during a promo like winter refresh going on right now. And then being able to just sit on that card for the rest of the year and use that card in the rest of the year in my team. And that's what people did with Messi. I think people are going to do it with Neymar as well. Of course, Neymar and Mbappe are some of the most used players in this game of foot. Uh, so I see a lot of people doing this SBC. And uh, I think that's going to cause a little bit of a drop on this headliner Neymar and on the inform. But I also think there's going to be a lot of people who see this Neymar SBC, especially if it's overpriced. If this SBC is overpriced, you're going to see a lot of people that panic sell the inform and then go ahead and buy it right back. You're going to see that that we saw that with Messi, right? That was a big time thing with Messi's card. You saw a lot of panic selling and then people went and they bought the card back because it was just way easier for them to go buy the card because that card actually got cheaper than the SBC price. So then it went above the SBC price, right? The 96 Messi group stage card went from like 1.7 mil all the way up to over 2 mil, which was more than the SBC price because people were like, yo, you know what? The stats and for the untradeable card, it's just not worth it. So I do think you'll see some panic on Neymar. I don't know how, if the SBC comes quick and it comes, um, if it comes like Monday, then I think you might not see as much panic. I think Monday is the very earliest date. Supposedly, and I forgot about this, this Ben Yedder SBC was extended three days at some point when it came out. So I do think there's a possibility that we see an overlap and that this SBC could be released. Uh, this Neymar SBC could be released on Monday. 
That is a very short time frame, I know, and that would come to a surprise for a lot of people on the market, but that's why I'm putting this video out now for you guys to get you ready for it, just in case that does happen. Again, they've overlapped player of the months in the past. Aguero overlapped um, Alexander Arnold by a couple days. It just depends on when they release the award. So stay up to date and I would follow the BN Sports Twitter account and maybe the Trophies UNFP uh, account on Twitter as well because they've been tweeting out a lot of stuff about Player of the Month just to follow that. If you're somebody who's interested in doing this Player of the Month Benyetter, it's not honestly a terrible price right now. 500,000 coins is all that will, it will set you back to do this SBC. He's a very, very good player uh, and that card is a lot cheaper than his, his inform in game right now. It's 87 rated inform. Just as a quick side note on this video. If that Benyetter SBC is still out and high rateds are still uh, pretty low, which they are right now, the 87 rated Ben Yedder card that was in Team of the Week this week is 575,000 coins. It is not as good as the 88 Player of the Month, and it is 75,000 coins more expensive because uh, it's it's newly in Team of the Week. But that's you know if you're wanting to do Ben Yedder, that's a little bit of a something that you could do right there if, if this is still out when you're watching this video. This card's very good. Heard people say it's fantastic. So just a little side note for you guys there. But I do think this Neymar will cause a little bit of panic as the word gets out more. I'm putting this video out early to inform you guys, and the panic might not be here yet, so just watch for it in the future. Where else could you see panic? You might see some panic on Mbappe. You might see a tiny bit of panic on Mbappe's other special cards as people maybe sell, possibly sell a card like this to go and get their uh, Neymar if they want to do that and maybe they're going to rock with the the left wing version of Mbappe or they got to sell this Mbappe to go do that player of the month Neymar because they want to upgrade maybe they have this Mbappe and they have a lower version of Neymar but they want to upgrade their Neymar and lower their Mbappe it just depends on how much the SBC costs first of all and how much demand there is for that SBC honestly uh, and then of course icon moments and icons alike upper tier cards high rated cards we're talking uh, high rated and high priced could take a hit because of this SBC. Yes, they could take a hit because of this SBC because somebody who has maybe a new moments card, even a couple of the new moments cards you might see take a little bit of a hit in price. Maybe somebody who has Del Piero and has been using Del Piero as their center attack in mid for a while, or maybe somebody who has like Socrates, like this card right here. This Socrates is 1.3 mil. Maybe they're like, yo, I've got a tradable Socrates. I can sell them for 1.3 mil and then I can go do this SBC, pay 500K out of pocket, finish the SBC with stuff in my club and get some packs back. And then I have, boom, Neymar instead of Socrates. You might see some people that go out and try to do something like that on this game. So I would be very careful with some of these high tier icons, especially like center attack and mid Brazilian. So Socrates, maybe a Ronaldinho middle card gets hit a tiny bit, just possibly because that's another, you know, that's a, a substitute good technically uh, on, on this game, substitute good. Uh, if you know what that is, basically, it's the same type of good, same position, same quality of good coming out. And it maybe sometimes can cause a decrease in price for the the other good, since the, the focus has been shift from, you know, Socrates or from Ronaldinho. It's now shift to Neymar. So just something to think about there. You might see a little bit of a, of a panic on or not a panic, but a drop in some of these icons as people go and sell their icons to do that player of the month Neymar. But if that player of the month Neymar is overpriced by any means, if it's over 2 million coins, if we're talking like if it's 2-2, basically we have this inform that is 2.2 million coins and a lot of people are gonna base the SBC cost off of this inform. So if you see Neymar player of the month, somewhere around 2.2 mil or higher, then I do think uh, you're gonna see people just go buy this inform and instead of doing the SBC. So that is my take on the Neymar player of the month. Again, these are your nominees. If it doesn't end up being Neymar, you're probably going to have a lot of panic. I think that people are going to think it's Neymar. It's like people right now are, are convinced it's Neymar. If Neymar somehow does not win, you're going to have all this panic and then stuff is going to rise right back up after that because the other two players, the SBC will be nowhere near the cost of Neymar or nowhere near the hype. So if any panic happens and you see that it is not a Neymar card and there's panic selling on Neymar, that could be a very, very good opportunity to go buy yourself a Neymar uh, and to to go get some, get a card at a cheaper price there. Last thing, are they going to require Neymar's gold card for this SBC? Absolutely not. There's no way they can do that. That would make his gold card go up too much. That card is just too rare in this game. 
Um, I guess I shouldn't leave that possibility out. If they do that, I will be absolutely shocked, right? They've never done that before, um, requiring a gold card that is like this high of a price in the game. That would be a big time shock to the market and it would make the SBC really, really expensive. I mean, a gold Neymar, how many gold Neymars are there under a million coins? I mean, if there's if it requires gold Neymar, that means that only how many pages out there's there's like 11 cards per page and at a million coins we have uh nine pages so 10 pages basically of of neymar maybe in the peak time of the day under a million coins i don't think it's going to be possible for them to do that they've required neymar's uh informs before way back in fifa 18 for his player of the year sbc i don't see that happening this time around EA hasn't done that. They have. They just haven't been requiring the gold cards of the version that they're putting out. So I don't expect that at all for the Neymar Player of the Month SBC. But this SBC is going to make waves on the foot market. And I hopefully you guys can get ready for it. And hopefully this video helped you kind of get in the mindset for what Player of the Month Neymar could be for this game. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.